from this? It is a wrong, uh, it's a misconception. Some of the facilities, uh, those who were run by a white compression, are quite sophisticated. You cannot just bring a person from an informal settlement, put him there, and hope that he will succeed to farm. To this. No, it's unfortunate, and I will say those who feel that we have offended them, I, I'm sorry, but I, that was not the intention. It is to bash anybody or to, to denigrate anybody, that's not the intention. We were just explaining the process. Unfortunately, it was taken out of context. In the meantime, the ministry has requested unedited footage from the initial interview to distribute it to the local media, as Minister Nuyoma believes that the explanations he used during the interview to back up his arguments never broadcast. We are waiting to, to, to hear from them what they say. But unfortunately, if we knew prior to that that they were busy with these pressure groups, we, we could have considered our interview in a different format. We were talking about our vulnerable communities that we have programs. Unfortunately, that part was not brought into in, in, in the interview. Nuyoma says his explanations were based on bad experiences of resettling beneficiaries on farms which require expensive maintenance. He singled out the Ongombo West Resettlement Farm, situated some 30 kilometers east of Ventuk, which used to export flowers to Europe. Numerous visits by the NBC to the farm also exposed hardships the resettled farmers face. So my emphasis was on training. Before we resettled anybody, we need to affirm our people, because that leads if you don't affirm them with the necessary knowledge and expertise, what do you expect? You may fail. So knowledge is key. Yeah, those farms, you, you may see our white compatriots, they have successful farms. It's because they have inherited that knowledge for generations. The resettlement program is categorized into vulnerable and landless communities and the one for Namibians with a strong interest in commercial farming. Nuyoma admits the process has not produced the desired results as only 5,000 people have been resettled since independence. The Landless People's Movement earlier threatened to invade farms if the Second Land Conference does not resolve their concerns. Which will target absentee landlord farms and state lands, including Atosha, Waterberg, and town lands. If you think we, the ministry is not doing the correct thing, come with your prepared advice. We are going to have the regional consultations. Come and make your input. We will invite all these uh, NGOs. Yeah, uh, come and tell us what you think is the best. We, we are not saying we have the, the monopoly of wisdom here. No, we do not. The second land conference spearheaded by the office of the Prime Minister is scheduled for the first week of October. Blanche Corres, NBC News.